Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I, you know what, I don't know. It's a rainy day, we've got a thunderstorm going on and I just wanted to kind of take a look behind the scenes. Um, I'm hearing ACDC fly on the wall, okay? So yeah, we're gonna be checking in close in the background um, what's going on with your person, okay? This reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does resonate, toss out the rest, right? Don't try to force any reading into your world, okay? And thank you so much, collective. I love you guys. Thank you for all of your support to the channel, um, the likes, subscribes. Um, thank you so much to all of my subscribers. Uh, just thank you for everything. And I'm hoping everybody's having a great weekend, right? um it's a it's a great day today you know anyway yeah uh fly on the wall by acdc that's what that's the song that i'm getting like a fly on the wall so yeah behind the scenes okay we've got a masculine energy here who um honestly they're hating the situation that they're in absolutely i mean this person this masculine is like there's got to be more to life than this, all right? This is not what they signed up for. Um, I feel like the very foundation that they're on right now um, in a karmic situation is crumbling. And there's a karmic out there that feels like hiding because um, they're really concerned about what the community thinks. And I feel like they've tried to keep up this false pretense of that everything is wonderful, sunshiny and bright, you know, nothing but glitter and, and they're happy and they've got it all. But look at this. They really don't. OK, they don't have it all. And this masculine is like. Uh, where's the rest of my life, right? They're feeling completely unfulfilled, dissatisfied. There we go. Dissatisfied, incomplete, and purposeless. And they want out. I feel like they both want out of a situation, okay? But it's almost like they have no drive. Um, because they're like, I mean, look at where they are. They, they could be in a very impoverished situation, yet doing all that they can to, um, you know, keep up appearances for, for the community, for their friends, their family, everybody in their town, whatever it is, okay? Um, but yeah, I feel like they're both miserable. These two are absolutely miserable with each other, and the karmic is embarrassed by the situation, they kind of don't want to show their face because I feel like it's it's absolutely apparent everything is kind of a mess here. Okay, everything is effed up. It's like a dump site. I feel like there's a masculine out there that could be drinking heavily or smoking heavily, standing in a kiddie pool somewhere, wanting out of a situation, feeling powerless and weak, okay, and angry, um, possibly hostile. Um, hateful of the situation that they're in because like I said they're completely dissatisfied they're completely unfulfilled they're they may be moping around questioning everything where they are right now this masculine that I feel like they are questioning everything um, yeah feeling exhausted drained I feel like they look I know this card says encouraged, but if you cover up the words, just look at the picture. It takes on a whole new meaning. You're moving forward. You're high vibing. You're gaining speed and recognition and accomplishments and blessings. You took your training wheels off. That means you've learned the lessons. You know what you're doing when you're riding this bike and you're leaving this masculine behind now. They are exhausted by the situation. I feel like um, they waited too long feeling powerless. And now they're kind of stuck in a, in a powerless, um, hostile, crappy situation. Okay? But you're, I feel like, and you're out here living a peaceful life. Okay? You're living in peace. Sorry, I'm holding my card upside down. Or my deck upside down. Um, yeah, you're out here living a peaceful life, calm, serene, um, thinking about where you're going to be moving, where you're going to be going. I'm, I, I feel you doing a lot of planning and manifesting right now, 
but your person it's like bare bones in their life here okay yeah I feel like this person they know they broke your trust and I feel like um, they may even need your help this looks like an impoverished situation to me it looks like a foundation to a toxic relationship is crumbling okay and it's now looking like a dump site look at all the garbage here garbage here right um yeah there's definitely a masculine who is not happy at all with their life and they'd much rather be with you living a life of peace um but yeah they broke their tr they broke your trust and now I feel like it's going to be hard for them to get back into your inner circle, okay? But both of these karmics want out, or karmics. Yeah, well, the, your person, This we could be talking about a karmic masculine at this point. I feel like they need to heal. They need to, uh, they could be in bad health at this point. Some of them could be losing a lot of weight, doing a lot of drinking, smoking, um anything to try to numb what's going on around them they feel very stuck like it's bad guys this is really bad the karmic's not helping the situation they feel very embarrassed all this masculine can do is watch you and honestly this is having a choice when it comes to love okay so this person has had a choice to make for a long time and, and honestly, sitting in this karmic situation has drained the crap out of them. They're spent. Yeah, I'm also seeing this as an evil eye symbol. Okay, so they could have sent you some bad energy, that kind of thing. And I feel like it's, it's all coming back on them, if that's the case. You could be dealing with the Gemini. Or they could be dealing with the Gemini. Take it how it resonates. You could be a Gemini. Um, but yeah, I feel like um, this could be a twin flame soulmate connection. It could be a deep level soulmate connection. We'll just say that. But, you know, this person, as they watch you, as they watch you succeed, as they watch you move forward, as they watch you do all of this, their life is crumbling. Like I said, it's crumbling. And all they're doing is watching you. They're just focused on you. I feel like the karmic in this situation and their little friends are gossiping about you. Okay, maybe gossiping about this connection. You're not really paying attention to it. You just keep moving forward, right? You just keep moving forward here. Okay, what is this? Somebody wants to work on something here, but um, they waited too long. They sat on this for too long. Yeah, now they know they're not, and they could have waited to hear from you, but that didn't happen. Okay, um, now they're, they know that there's a chance that all of this emotion could be gone. This lake bed um, shouldn't be a desert, okay? So they know they waited uh, way too long here. But if this person, they, they, I know they want to reach out here with the with the Page of Pentacles. You could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, um, any fire sign really. But uh, if you hear from this person, I feel like there could be some in and out energy with this because they're still in a karmic situation. Yep, third party. Third party situation here. They won't be able to stick around. I feel like this person may want to come in, flirt with you, share some passion with you, try to get you back. But in all honesty, they, they won't be able to stick around. And I feel like um, they're coming towards you as a knight of wands uh, to a empress in the minor arcana. They know that you're doing really well when it comes to your business, your finances, whatever it is that you're growing. They also know that you're single out here. Okay? 
but I feel like this person coming towards you could already be committed. Um, you could even be in the King of Pentacles energy here. Somebody wants to come and give you a whopping apology, I'm telling you. It's taken far too long for them to do this, though. During this time of separation from you guys, or with, with your soulmate connection, they've been watching you grow, okay? Um, this is something that takes a long time to build. The Nine of Pentacles, nurturing this, each and every grape that you see here, you've nurtured, okay? And that's why it's growing. You love what you do, and you're doing what you love, and... Um, you're succeeding out here, but this took a lot of time and effort. Like, you guys were separated from a really long time, for a really long time from each other, okay? While they were trying to build a, a really terrible foundation with, with this karmic. Um, yeah, I feel like you are in King of Pentacles energy here. And now this person wants to come back in and apologize for all of this. They, they can't seem to get you off of their mind. It's embarrassing to this karmic. Um, I feel like their whole situation here, they're, they're both embarrassed by it. They both want out. Yeah. I feel like they both want out. It's an impoverished situation. And this is part of why they're embarrassed, okay? Because you're not impoverished. Um, even if you don't have, like, a lot of money um, and you're still just building, you have more than what they do, almost double. You've got nine pentacles. They have five. If you've got 20 bucks to your name, you have more than they do. You know, your bank account, you could have, uh, you could be growing your bank account. You have almost double what, they, what these people do. I feel like they're kind of impoverished here. Losing health, losing their health at this point, because they're not living a healthy lifestyle, okay? And uh, they may need financial help. So be very careful, because this person's not going to be able to stick around. And some of these people could be coming in just to take from you, okay? Uh, maybe possibly um, not give you any love, not really show you, give you a big apology, something that's been long awaited, but I feel like it's in and out energy, guys. I keep picking up on this because they still are stuck trying to keep up false, the falseness, right? Um so everybody else thinks that they're they're wonderful, but they're losing it. Their house is falling apart. Some of them could end up homeless. You know, these are two people out in the cold with no grass growing. Okay, there's no grass for them in sight. And here you are, all kinds of lush, green, abundant. Yeah, they followed the wrong person, or they they worked on it with the wrong person out in the cold. Yeah, you were the blessing here. I feel like, yep, yeah, you're about to get blessed um, with your Ten of Pentacles. You're an earth angel here. And this is manifesting to me, these two cups being brought together. Yeah, so if somebody from your past comes back... Man, there's a, there may be a chance here that this person just wants to come in for money because they've got nothing. They've, they're, they're losing their stability. They're losing their home. Their home could be falling apart, something. Um, and they're exhausted. They're, they're, they've been working, trying to build up their, their pentacles here. Okay, but it's, something's not working out. They're in really bad shape. And I feel like you're about to find out about this. But if, if that's the case, I mean, use your discernment, collective, okay? Because I feel like a person from your past, this person's coming back around. And they may just want money. They may just want help with finances. Even though both of these people want out of this karmic situation. They want out. I don't know what people are thinking. I kind of, I want to tell you, ooh, what's this? Yeah, higher font. Be very careful, okay? 
be very careful. And I feel like a new soulmate connection is coming for you that's going to be ordained by the divine. They're sending you in a blessing. They're mixing it up for you right now. Yeah, I'm here and don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Who's that? Steve Perry, right? <laughs> yeah, don't stop believing by what would that be? Journey, I think. Right, Steve Perry? Yeah, because you know what? You're entering into a new cycle now. And I feel like new love is being sent for you. New love. Someone who's going to actually love you, not just want you for your pentacles, not just want to watch you from afar wanting you, but build, try to build something feeble with someone else. Okay, so don't stop believing. I feel like new love is on its way here. They're mixing it up for you now. Um, yeah, you're moving forward. I feel like you're already like, I know. I know. Because you're wrapped in intuition, you know. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody's coming forward here to talk. But I, I'm getting the sense that, you know, by the end of the conversation, you're not going to like what they hear because I feel like you're going to realize that, that they've been watching your money and they're holding on to whatever loose change they can find. Uh, they may even come in angry because they've been feeling powerless. They may feel hateful. They may be jealous of you and your success. Okay, because you now have the money and they don't. You have financial stability, they don't. You're, mo you're able to move forward and, and go places in your life and they can't. They could be bound to some kind of property that's falling apart. That's for someone, not for all of you though. But yeah, I feel like... Um, I, I kind of am getting the feeling like they want to come towards you for money, okay? That's really the vibe I'm getting here. But you have new love coming. So once again, I look at the higher font and I'm here and Steve Perry, don't stop believing, okay? Or journey. Yeah, because you're starting a new journey. That's right. Don't stop believing in your journey. Thank you, Divine. Don't stop believing in this journey. Okay, I feel like you guys are stepping into a whole new life. All right, so what can you show me? Let's see what kind of advice the divine has for you guys. What advice? Look, fates, community, some of you could be moving, all right, being spiritually led to move to a whole new community. If that's the case, this was fated to happen. Yeah, it's time to go to a whole new community. Find a new soul tribe. Meet somebody new here, okay? It's time to go. Um, you're being spiritually led through this portal collective, and you're leaving this person behind, this person from your past that's still in a toxic situation. You're, I feel like you're leaving them behind and, you know, st still believing in that blessing and love that the divine is sending you. Okay, don't stop. What did I say on the bottom? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Bottom of the deck, soulmates in a new community. What did I just say? Blessing you, right? It's time to go. I'm telling you, the divine is mixing this up for you. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. It's faded, guys. It's faded. They're mixing up somebody new for you right now. This is going to be a gift, a gift exchange because you don't stop believing. You don't stop believing. Your faith doesn't waver. And I feel like because of that, you're getting blessed with a new soulmate connection. But I feel like for some of you, you're being led to go, 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 go. It's time to go to a new community, okay? So if you're being kind of called to move or change locations, you know what, just, listen, just pray on it. Listen to the messages they're giving you. 
follow your intuition okay I can't personally tell you guys what to do but this is what I'm seeing for you it's time to go community new soulmate connection the divine is bringing it to you mixing it up for you now because you're about to be blessed all right and this is faded for you you do get your wishes okay Anyway, collective, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Um, if you like this video, you know, hit the like button, right? Subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe and it's resonating. And until next time, collective, take care of you and peace out.